So I've had a pretty lengthy career as a professional artist. I've done a lot of cool things, but there's one thing that's been on my bucket list that I have yet to attain, and that is I've never had an art exhibit. Well, that is until now. <laughs> of the internet, I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. Welcome, mad creators, to the underground laboratory where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. And I'm getting all that stuff ready right now because I am going to have my first art exhibit. Um, I've been doing this, I don't want to mention how long, but it's... Uh, it's going on about 20 years, but anyway, so I've never had an art exhibit, so, uh, uh, and I I was invited to do an art art show, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if you guys, where you live, if you have a thing called First Fridays, a lot of bigger cities, I think, have them where it's just kind of a giant street fair, and there's a lot of people, like, exhibit, you know, doing stuff on the sidewalks and stuff like that, but um, I actually am going to be exhibiting in, a, in an art space, you know, so it's kind of a, it's it's not like a huge gallery, but but it's, you know, it's, it's not me just on the street, you know, selling my wares. I mean, I've done conventions and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I have some experience with that, but this is a little different animal. So I'm trying to do my best to prepare that. Um, and one thing that I realized is that because I don't I don't really do a lot of, I have a, a lot of original artwork. I mean, I've got sketches and things like that, but most of my things I've done digitally and they're prints. So I've got to figure out how to present those. And one of those ways is I've got to get some frames to frame those. So I ordered some frames and I'm waiting to... Yes, yes. All right, so so I got mail, so I'm wondering uh, that if that is my my uh, if those are my frames because I need them <laughs> because my art exhibit is coming up. By the way, uh, so I'm going to go right up here to the Vaculux, which is our mail delivery system, and uh, I'll I'll see what I got. But I just did want to mention the art exhibit. Uh, if you guys. I'm sure most of you guys aren't in the Phoenix, Arizona area, but if you are, on First Fridays I will be exhibiting at, at Cocoon Art Space, and uh, I will have the information in the description for that if you want to check that out. So that's going to be April 6th, I believe, and also Third Fridays, which I think is April 20th. Um, so if you're available that day, you happen to be in Phoenix, come by and say hi. But uh, let's go to the Vaculux right here. And uh, let's see what we got. All right. Oh, man, I got a lot of stuff here. Okay, so now as you can tell, this is kind of small. So what we have to do is we have to dehydrate this, bring it back to normal size. But uh, let's see. Let's get this. We've got three boxes here. I don't want to, uh, don't want to damage these. So let's bring these back to size. Okay, so here we go. I've got these big boxes. I'll open those in a minute, but I've got these, and these look like shirts uh, that I ordered some sample shirts. So let me show you that. And for, for any of you guys that don't know, I do sell merch. This is one of my designs here, and I've got some new ones that I just printed up, and uh, I'm going to take a look at these. Now, I do these through Printful. I have a Printful video. If you're interested in how that all works, I will show you that. So I've got three new t-shirts. Let's see. First, this is... This is the geek life, or nerd life. Let's see. All right, I got a bunch of stickers on here and stuff. So this is my nerd life design. I didn't choose nerd life, nerd life chose me. So it's kind of my ode to just pop culture and I don't know, it's, it's kind of a fun one. It's, a, it's, you know, most of mine are a little more minimal, the t-shirts anyway. If you see my art prints, they're a little more like this, which is based on an art print that I had, but I thought it looked good on a t-shirt. So I got that one. Uh, let's see, this one I like, in the spirit of nerdiness, I've got another one for you. Now, I've got messenger bags and things with this design on it too, but, so I won't have any of these at the art show. It's kind of hard to, to show, to bring shirts and things because you never know sizes and everything, but I'll have prints, original sketches, all that cool stuff. So here's my nerd alert design. Yeah, I kind of like that one because it's just, you know, I kind of go back and forth between, you know, real elaborate kind of illustrations, technical style illustrations, just simple graphic design. And this is another one. This is one I wear all the time because I kind of like this as a mantra. Here we go. Wake and make, because that's what I'm all about. You get up in the morning and you start making stuff and get it out there in the world. So um, anyway, all this stuff is on my online store, but we're, we're here to talk about this art show coming up and specifically kind of framing some prints and things. So uh, I got these uh, from Craig's Frames from Amazon, and I will leave an affiliate link so you guys can check this out. Okay. I've got a lot of different prints, and um, and I need to frame all those. And frames can get super expensive, but this place, Craig Prints, they have a lot of sizes that you can't really find in like 
I mean, sure, you can go to like a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby or something like that and get custom frames, but if you've ever priced custom frames, they are super expensive. But they have, like, most people sell 11 by 17, if you're in the US, 11 inches by 17 inches. Um, I don't know what that equates to in metric, but, um, but yeah, that's kind of a standard size. I wanted to go a little bit different, uh, just an inch larger, so mine are 18, uh, or no, I'm sorry, yeah, 18 by 19? 11 by 17, 18 by, no, wait. 12 by 18, sorry. My math is well. So my prints are 12 by 18, and I thought, man, it's gonna be really difficult to find frames for those, but Craig, Craig Frames has all those. Now these aren't like super expensive. They have different, you know, they have different versions. This is sort of, this isn't the cheapest one, um, but it's definitely not the most expensive. And I don't even think, I'm not even sure that they're glass. I think it's got kind of an acetate, but, and also I've got 20 by 30 prints, and that's what, I don't know if you can see this other box, this big, huge box here. That's what that is there. Oh man, the studio is just going crazy into the underground layer. All right, so these are the 12 by 18 size prints, or if you're doing, like I said, if you're one of these people that are doing 11 by 17, um, that, they've got those too, but I'm just gonna, I just wanna just pull one out. I'm probably not gonna open the big box, at least not yet. But so those are the frames, and you know, they're, they're minimal. They're not like super fancy ornate frames, but I don't really want that. I wanna showcase the art. Um, and I don't know if that is glass or if it is, it may be acetate. Yeah, but they've got like a protector you pull on that pull off of there and everything. And we're gonna frame one of my prints just to show you kind of how it's done. I mean, it's pretty elementary, I think. But anyway, just to kind of see the process and see, just see how this looks when it's done. Um, so anyway, there's those are those, those are those. And then I've got this bigger box of 20 by 30 that I'm gonna open. Uh, but uh, let's uh, let's see how some of these work with the actual prints. Okay, so if you ever find yourself in a position like me where you need to frame a lot of artwork, um, this might be a good way to go because it was a lot less expensive than other routes to get these through uh, Craig frames. So anyway, uh, this is kind of how it works. You just get a, you know, some kind of a flat tool like I've got a butter knife here. There's a piece of cardboard in there. There's directions, pretty self-explanatory basically what I'm telling you right now. So there's an acetate sheet to protect it on both sides. So what I'm doing, I'm just gonna pull the, the bottom part off and then gently, I'm trying not to get any fingerprints on this thing. I mean, inevitably they will get fingerprints on it, but especially especially when I do this next part, what I'm doing right now, where I'm pulling off the inside because I don't want, I don't want any smudges or any lint or anything in between the image that I'm gonna be, going to be placing in here and, you know, and, and the, uh, it's, it's like a, a acrylic actually, it's not glass, but, so there's the print. Now, obviously you can get bigger ones and you can mat them if you really, I mean, if this is something that you wanna display in your home and everything, it might be a good idea to, you know, get a little larger and maybe even mat them. Of course, with that, you're probably gonna to have to custom mat unless you, uh, know how to do that yourself <laughs> but the good thing about matting is it kind of raises the the actual print off of the whatever it's glass or or acrylic in this case um, so if there's any condensation or anything it won't stick to it um, but for my purposes this is going to work fine I think so yeah there's what it looks like frame now that's the 12 uh, by 18 size that I'm using I also have these larger ones the 20 by 30 so they pretty much work the same way and I'm just gonna, you know, with the butter knife, lift all those little tabs up, lift the the cardboard backing off, put the print in, pretty much, or remove the the you know protective covering. Pretty much the same process. So that's kind of that's kind of how you do it. Um, I will, like I said, I'm gonna leave some links. I will probably leave links to a few different sizes. I know most people are probably gonna going to want the. Uh, 11 by 17 size, so I'll leave links to those. But they have all different sizes. They have different styles, I believe, too, different colors. This is very basic. I just, you know, I had to buy a lot of prints or a lot of frames because I had to, you know, showcase a lot of artwork, and I just couldn't spend, you know, thousand dollars. So, um, so I don't even know how much, you know, honestly, I will make at the show. We'll find out. I've never done a show like this before. Um, so anyway, I just, you know, at least for the first show to kind of see how it all works out. This is my uh, Mech Daddy print that I'm putting in here. Um, and I've got, you know, I wish I would have had the foresight to design some of my prints a little larger because 
when I originally designed some of the older ones, you know, they were at 300 DPI at like 12 by 18. So the newer ones, like this is a newer one, I've, I've done a little higher resolution so I can do these bigger prints, but I wish I would have done that because some people do like the larger prints and I just don't have those available for all of my prints, which is kind of a bummer. So, um, but anyway, so here I'm just going to go and redo, or not redo, but just frame the rest of my artwork. Uh, I've got a bunch of different prints that I'm going to be bringing with me. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a good economical way to go about it. And you can spend as much as you want on frames if you want fancier frames. But a lot of people, you know, you go to comic conventions and you buy prints and everything. And these are really good. And like I said, they have all kinds of different sizes. And that's kind of the main thing. Because when you go to, you know, like a Michaels or something like that, and you're just buying frames off the rack, you're probably not going to find, I don't think you're going to find a lot of 11 by 17. I could be wrong. Um, but you're definitely not going to find like 12 by 18 and some of these other sizes that 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 I tend to do. So um, yeah, I'm kind of glad I found them. I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, it's not super high quality, but they do look nice framed. Uh, we'll see how long they last and everything. But I might even bring these to conventions and display my prints in frames. Um, it might add a little more, you know, some of that, something extra to it. Okay, so I got a lot done, uh, but there's still tons of stuff for me to do to get ready for the show. Let me let me show you what I've got already. So uh, these are some of the prints that I framed. This is my Galaxy's Diner print, kind of a retro future 50s sort of look. Um, my Time Machines print. Let's see what else. This is a good for like teachers and stuff. Pretty good message. Think inside the box. It's a little kid playing inside a cardboard box because that's where imagination happens. Uh, one of my favorites here, the Mecha versus Kaiju print. And I like this one too. It's kind of a flip on the alien invasion. Uh, it came from Earth and all the little aliens are like fearful of what's going to come from Earth. Um, so those are fun. And then of course I've got the big giant ones here. I, let's see, which I probably won't even fit in the frame, but my, you may have seen this one before. This is the Nerd Life one from the t-shirt, yeah. And then, uh, let's see. Ah. Here's a little close up on the, the Mech Daddy one. And of course, this is probably one of my better sellers. This is the How to Kill Monsters. With all the different ways you can kill monsters. And I'm kind of tilting this because of the uh, glare from the, the lights. Uh, so those are a few. There, I've got more that I framed that I'm bringing with me to the show. And also I got one of these portfolios that I'm going to be bringing some stuff for people to flip through. And I've got a bunch of smaller prints. I've got all kinds of different stuff. I've got... I've got a number of things that I'm bringing with me to this show. So if you're interested and you happen to be in the Phoenix, Arizona area around April 6th, which is first Friday or April 20th, which is third Friday, uh, come by, stop and see me. I will leave all the information to where Cocoon Art Space is and uh, how you can find me. Uh, that will be in the description as long as well as affiliate links to all of these uh, products and things that I'm talking about, the frames or, or anything that I mentioned in this video. So uh, yeah, I like I said, I got tons of stuff to do, so I gotta get back to work. I will see you guys later, that is all. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me here in the Art Lab. There's a lot of other great content on the channel, so click that subscribe button and you won't miss a thing. If you're an aspiring evil genius, visit surfworks.com for all your mad science supply needs. And if you want to contact me, hit me up in the comments section or follow me on social media. I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you then.